to play games or anything like that. So it was it was nice. It was very yeah. refreshing. Yeah. So tell me um, what people are always asking me if, if they think that introverts and introverts go better together, extroverts and extroverts go better together, or like what the dynamic needs to be like. And I think it's different for each couple and each couple has things to work on. But what do you guys think makes your relationship work well? I know that Chad, you have some definitive opinions about this. Oh, well, I, I just think that we have a similar lifestyle. And yeah. I think that's such a foundational element mm -hmm. because it allows us to do so many different things together. Whether yeah. it's something outside, whether it's fitness related, whether it's cooking a meal together, whether it's you know getting up in the morning and talking about how great our sleep was the night before and kind of rating it. Yeah. So it just gives us all <laughs> these things from, from the time the sun comes up till it goes down that we connect on just through yeah. lifestyle. So I think that that's so incredibly fundamental. Yeah. Um, and Kelsey, I always thought you gave great advice, and Chad, like Kelsey, I thought you were, like, brilliant with your ideas about wellness and connections. So, what advice would you give other singles that are out there, you know, trucking along, doing online dating, feeling like giving up because of all the ups and downs and getting ghosted? How would you think, how, how do you think they need to focus on meeting somebody great? Um, I'd say first, take a step back and just be real certain about what it is you're looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, it, it may not be just physical elements. It may be something that makes you feel a certain way. It may be somebody that, that wants to be your cheerleader and help you with your hobbies or help you pursue something. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be open. I think that's my, my number one piece of advice mm -hmm. is to be open, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, keep an open mind. Um, we, we know someone, and you know her as well, that can tell you down to the last detail what she wants in a mate, and right. that person's still single. So it's, yeah. it's having that open mind to say, you know, that may not have been who I envisioned ending up with, but yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. And you guys have been together how long? Two and a half years? Probably closer Maybe. to three. Three, yeah. And I um, I think people have this, also they have this timeline. And even as like a type A girl, I mean, I'm super type A. I always thought yeah. we'd go down a certain way. And I was with my husband three years before we married. And, you know, you, I think you did that also well, like to be patient in terms of like how it works out. And so yeah. anyway, I always thought you had good advice. What advice would you give to singles? Um, about being patient or not about rushing into just, things just, or? Well, just about in dating general? in general. Okay. About dating. What well, do you think they should consider? To piggyback off of like what he said, I think it's like really understand yourself. Um, first and so like make it clear like what is it that I want in a person but not make it about like physical attributes like yeah. personality attributes yeah. and then like as he said being really open because it's I think finding the, the right person isn't going to come in a physical form it's going to come more in the personality um, way because yeah. it's not like he's a lot older than I am and I think that that was like one of the first questions like how do you feel about somebody being older He's so young um, compared to people that are in their 30s or something like that in his 50s. Yeah. And it, had I been like close, close minded to totally. it, I would have never. probably wrote a yeah. different age range than Chad yeah. is, right? Yeah. There's so many people that I work with, I'm like, well, what about I have this person that's everything you're looking for, yeah. but he's X. Yeah. He's a different ethnicity. He's out of your age range. So many of them say no. And when they say no, like, that's when they don't happen. The and and yeah. almost all the times when they flex, if they're flexible in general, they find it. Yeah, you know. So, so yeah, just yeah. being open, like you said, and then being like true to knowing what you want based off of the characteristics, not the personnel or not the looks or anything like that. Not yeah. that he's not the most handsome man in the whole <laughs> he's world, so but cute. it's um, <laughs> but it's just more of you just don't know what you're gonna find in that aspect and then who the person is at their core is like who you're gonna have to spend the rest of your life with. So that's what you needs to be really important yeah well thanks so much guys congratulations you do seem really calm and like happy yeah thank you for doing this